Good morning students of grade 6. This is our lesson number 5. Let's start. This is suffixes. Now, in the previous lesson, we did the suffixes that what is a suffix and then uh, today this is the continuation of the, the same topic that is suffixes and it's on page number 36. We are going to do this I-O-N, T-I-O-N and A-T-I-O-N. These are the suffixes, right? So we are going to do these today. First of all, you should know what is a suffix. A suffix is a syllable added to the end of a word that changes its meaning. I am repeating it. A suffix is a syllable added to the end of a word that changes its meaning. Now, what is the difference between a prefix and a suffix? Prefix is added in the beginning of the word which changes its meaning and a suffix is, a suffix is added to the end of the word and we have the new word. Now, the suffixes I-O-N, T-I-O-N and A-T-I-O-N changes the verbs into nouns. Remember that whenever we add these suffixes, so it changes the verbs into nouns. For example, imitate, imitation. I O N imitation combine combination right so these are the types of um, the suffixes which changes the verbs into nouns you are given the exercise and that is match the words from the box with its meaning the words are given in the box I did not mention those here in fact I just simply solved it so you have to do it uh, on your book but remember that you have to use a pencil always write on the book don't write it with the pen the first one is a copy a copy of something for this the suitable word is imitation talking talking conversation a request invitation the meaning of something is definition a search exploration mirror image is the reflection of something then we have cars trucks this is transportation ornament this is decoration we we use different kinds of ornaments for decoration choice choice is selection a party celebration the answer this is solution people population a joining of something is combination New idea, suggestion, thankfulness, this is appreciation, right? I think uh, all the words are clear. So you have to take your pencils, do it with a pencil on your book. And now it's your homework time. You have to do 16, 17 and 18 in your books. That, that is just to put the one of the words from the given in these three. So try to do it, right? Thank you so much.